veteran players, veteran coaches. These refs are going to let the guys on the court decide it. Hopper was called for that foul. Yes, Oster Tag cannot relax. He's done that a number of times. Utah by three. Malone with Russell. Oster Tag up front. Here's Malone getting inside. Couldn't get there. Two minutes. Bulls shot 41% out there, and Utah 39%. Stockton wants Spencer on the block this time against Luke Longley. Couple it up to Stockton, so it'll be Stockton and Jeff Malone back in the game. Corbin Chambers and Spencer. Trying to set a back pick for Chambers to get open down low. Herrera has switched on him. Over to Spencer. Ball knocked away. Shoots under 50%. They'll limit the offensive rebounds with no double team. And the end result will be a good one for the Jazz. Good pass inside from Hornacek to Malone. So Carl Malone has milked five fouls out of both forwards. Jeff Malone getting a step on Maxwell. Put the answer to it. Forty-nine. So now you see Elijah Wan and Malone start to pick up their games inside. Actually, a team going outside. There's Stockton again. Bulls tie the Jazz at 32. Just under six minutes to go, first half. His little screen and roll. Stockton with his first shot. That players to know he wants him to play as though he's full 100 strength mark all right thanks jim from the coaching point of view matt I, obviously that does make sense well you know again you don't want to you always want to make michael jordan work defensively but you don't want to take your team failing by six see they're close enough to anderson on any jumps now the back screen stockton gets it into oster tag Here's Morris, wide open, will go for the three and hit. As he was until he got him here. Uh, the Lakers missed him. Jeff Malone with a quick trigger. That's the fifth three-pointer for Houston. Good ball movement on the part of the Rockets. They're not holding it no, no longer than a second and a half, two seconds. A calm along. The finish. And Jordan came down again and told Pippen, get it to me in the post. Stopped in trying to get it to Malone in the post. He fires again and finally hits one. Game 
is tied at 84. 12 on the shot clock, 15 on the game. Here's the possession right here. Malone gets a double triple team. Three seconds on the shot clock. Jeff Malone from the corner. This is the other game. It's 78-73 uh, in game four. Chicago wants to keep it in the 70s or low 80s. Stockton got the step. Malone will wait for the last moment, and he'll come up and set the screen for Isley. Game clock overlapping the shot clock by a couple of seconds. Malone from Isley to the basket, and with pure strength, they come to their feet. Every last soul at the Delta Center. Stopped it. Shot clock winding down. Malone has to. Two in a row. And what a... establish ourselves we can't let them offensively go where they want to be Bob? all right Jim thanks a lot first shot second half Brian Russell short with a three and this second half hitting the open man 39 to 18 after a 30 point first half. That was only three points from their record high Seattle in the playoffs. And John Stockton matchups uh, out here. Three go to game five and the four San Antonio had to go to overtime to win it in four. Carl Malone's first shot down the block. So Stockton sets it up in what has been a quiet start to this first quarter. Malone on the block, double team from Longley. Morris open out front for three. Put your hands on. You're right. I think they just look a step slow here thus far tonight. Not quite revved into it yet. We're in a sec to Malone. Double team again from Longley. Malone gets the step. Nicely done. And straight to Carl Malone. A turnaround jumper and put it back right through it. Under a minute and a half to play out in the first quarter. Malone outside the Russell. Shot clock is at five. Four to six. On four for the basket. Layup. Beautiful shot. Overtime right now. The way these teams are shooting and defending. Malone from Stockton all the way to the basket. Eventually, they will go down for you. You just have to have enough nerve and enough heart to keep shooting the basketball. He'll take it to the basket and slam it. From the free throw line, there you see the Utah Jazz yet to attempt their first free throw. The reason why that's a big point, Dick, is when you get 40 attempts a game, you've got to make them. Howard, I... He's controlled this first half masterfully as only Stockton can. So they'll hold it for the last one. Stockton fires. And that's again. Big... Michael Jordan, and a look at their numbers. Stockton has a good look and puts the jumper down. Has played. He has never been held under 20 points, and he's got 20 in the first half tonight. Stockton on the move and banks it home. It was kicked off. Isley drives by Harper, shoots on the run and banks it in. Chicago to 
doesn't have to foul because of the overlap. It's Stockton on the run, and it's Utah by four. Is being outshot as bad as they are to be, you know, in the game only up by one point. They've got to like what they see, and there is. It is the conditioning on the part of John Stockton. And you should see Stockton work out in the weight room. Now he's certainly not in Carl Malone's class, but ball knocked away by Malone, but able to recover. Delta center. Shot clock at four. Morris. Again. Pew, does. A look at the inside number in the second half. And Quan Carr makes it over eight minutes to go. Foster down the lane. Matchup up is uh, Piffin and, and Morris. Nicely, nice move off the dribble to beat Kerr. They're so long that they just switch all of that. Scotty Pippen switched it with Jordan, stepped out and made the steal. Stockton's jumper. Got it. They're dead. Second quarter. Tied at 34. Stockton. Back to Malone. Winning the defense. Philly must play good defense. Hold Utah to one shot right now. Look at that pass. Down. Down. Nobody's boxing out Ostertag. Every penetration by Utah, Ostertag is free of the offensive line. Isley into the lane and back outside again. Shot clock is at seven. Isley the lead for Ostertag for two. That gives him a 10 point lead now. 445. The pick and roll, but they got mismatches galore inside. John Bushler on the floor for the first time, and he's defending on uh, Mars. Here's Malone. Yes. He said that you know we play well in in Utah. He said our games with them are usually close. The game this year was a two-pointer in Philly. Well, how about Rodale three again, making it happen with the right decision on top. But he's getting to the foul line for eight opportunities a game, and that's where he's picking up the points. Only 19 years old, but he gives the Lakers instant energy coming off the bench, and on that... He has played 35 minutes. He has scored 30 points, and the game is tied at 77. Carl Malone is back. Here's John Stockton. Call here. That was team foul number four on the ball. Jazz do not have any. Russell for Blue. Yes. The start is everything for the Utah Jazz tonight. They have got to be sharply stood because they are in hostile territory. And uh, this crowd is going to be the extra pump that the Rockets need to get a victory. Front a step, the runner down the lane. In and out, tapped up by Oakland. Five-second differential between the 24 and the game clock. Quarter section. It's rebounded by Pitt. the reversal in the turnover story here in the second half. Well, he said without the turnovers, Utah does not get out in the open floor. Alone, quick turnaround jumper. Chicago by eight. Chris Morris, he can hit it from there. To Malone in close.
Whale of a game. You cannot ask for easier shots. Off the double team. Philly is getting the open shot. You Stockton. Chris Morris. Stockton gets it right back. coming over that pick set by Spencer now rather than going behind it. Exactly. There's a double team all the fouls last night on the Toronto Raptors by getting good quick defensive position and drawing the charge. Double. Malone looking to deal over Longley. Nothing but shoots a little soft runner up there. It's unbelievable. Rockets lead it by two and now it's tied to do something or he'll make it every time he shoots it. <laughs> He's only two for nine tonight. Here's Stockton coming off a pick. Well, the outside the car had some good moments. Needs one right here. <laughs> Antoine Carr putting the spin. Jump shots. And the Bulls have not been running a lot of pick and rolls. Have not been getting driving opportunities for George. Oh, pretty fast to set it up for Carr. He has a tendency to fade away. Hornacek, Pippen bumps him. Bounces it to Morris. Michael guarding him. Turn around on MJ Short. Luke Longley is now back into the game with Dennis Rodman, so now he's matched up against Carl Malone once again. Remember, he got three quick fouls in the first half trying to guard Carl Malone. Here's Foster, deals to Russell, drives on Pippen, and it's a tough hoop. Who will score the next one? Hornacek has it. It'll be Stockton who has 15. To anticipate and help think the Jazz in their game plan, another easy layup inside. Ultra tag from Stockton. Earlier, part of the reason why Utah lost the final a year ago was that Malone became a jump shooter too often. stationary before he came off of him and that's a moving uh, pick on the part of Scotty. Down into Felton Spencer, he turned right into Elijah on, made the shot. Break bucket makes a difference in pushing you ahead. Harvey with that baby left hand hook, cutting it like a, like a curveball. And the rotation took it off the iron. Alone. Ah, uh, that's just where you of a game when he's most comfortable with and you have a uh, mad max helping him out by taking the point as much as he can <laughs> Howard Isley has checked back in replacing John Stockton they have it up on Hornacek who's able to find Oster tag back for Hornacek that time this time we'll go on into the semifinals of the West against the Rockets and Hakeem Olajuwon Stockton with seven. Carl Malone. Uh, ten on the shot clock for the Jazz, who are leading by five. Here is Howard Isley with a runner, a la Mark filled in. He yes, got he 18 did. points and 10 rebounds and two shot blocks. The guy, you give him the time, he can put up numbers. And those so has come down to a best of three series. The Bulls do have, still do have the home court. Advantage two, and the coach. Mom playing with four fouls. So he's been uh, sitting here at the start of the fourth quarter. Antoine Carr. And here is Chris Carr's 
He's a, a, a boxer just hanging on along the ropes, but able to hit for a three-point Chicago lead. Beautiful feed. Close to tag. Said about the shot selection among other activities of Dennis Rodman. And why not? Dennis, not a good offensive player by choice. Carl Malone trying to deliver and down. Antoine Carr against Rodman. Double team help from Wennington. Foster is left open. Position at least for three seconds. Over the top to Morris. Beautiful night in the series. Aaron so far is 0 for 6. Hornacek, and they have it. The Blazers are shooting poorly again. Well, both teams are shooting poorly, and that just tells us how important the game is to each one. The Jazz want to close Portland out, and Portland wants to get uh, a lead and give themselves a chance to relax. Hornacek on a nice cut. Could he finish off a play? Yes, he can. So it's 21-21, all tied up, just underway, and Malone with an easy. <laughs> Oster tag so huge defensively, forcing misses. Stockton backdoor. This game, 0 for 5 from the floor and have yet to score. Greg Foster, good jump shooter when he's left 4% in the series. He's now 20 out of 30. 9.25 to go first period. 6 2 Utah. Purdue playing Malone. Malone going for the jump shot. Jazz by four. Stockton back in the game. Also, David Benoit in number 21 for Utah. He's proven to be a big player off the bench. Mike Brown, strong move into the lane. get open to receive the ball and make a play. Utah takes Carr out. He was in for defense. They bring Isley in. Russell. He asked for a timeout rather than risk the call. It's a 20.